Genia and this is Genia's kitchen. Today, again, as a special guest, we have the spaghetti squash. It's a gorgeous giant thing and today we're going to make it Florentine style which will have uh, mushrooms and homemade alfredo sauce, a white sauce and of course a little spinach here and there. It's gonna be amazing. It turns out so delicious. You can eat it by itself, you can, if you, especially if you're vegetarian, we'll put lots of cheese in it or you can have it as a side which we we'll probably will do today. Anyway, let's start gutting the spaghetti squash and I will let Eric cut it before we come back to you and then we're gonna bake it. So thank you honey for cutting the spaghetti squash. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get gut the inside just with a spoon. There we go. Just get as much of that stuff out as possible. There we go. So after gutting it, it looks about like this. You still have a little bit of hair here. If you can get it, that's cool. If not, it's okay. It's still part of your squash. I'm gonna do the second part. I'm gonna come back to you. I'm a little messy. The next step we're gonna do is season it. So we're probably gonna be at about a teaspoon of salt here and then probably about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of pepper depending on how pepper you like it we're probably gonna go with half a teaspoon because i don't like too much pepper just so i can see it and then we're gonna do about almost a whole tablespoon for each half you want it to be nice and juicy all right my oven's at 350 I'm going to flip these babies, and by the way, you don't have to flip them if you don't want to. It's up to you. Oh, found the seed. So now we're gonna go in the oven for at least half an hour, and considering the size, probably 45 minutes and more, we are gonna check and we're gonna come back. So what's gonna happen is, like last time I told you, when you're gonna look in the oven and you're gonna take your mitten and you're gonna touch it, it has to give. Like right now, it's not doing anything, but it has to give like a peach almost. So we're gonna come back to these babies when they're done and we're going to scrape them out and make the sauce. So it's been 40 minutes and our spaghetti squash gave, gave and everything. So I actually took it out and I set it aside. I can't show it to you right now because we need to work on our Florentine sauce fast. So what we have here is a small onion. You can use as much as you want and you cut it any way you want. Also, I have um, eight ounces of baby bella mushrooms and have a whole bag of spinach it's eight ounces as well so what you're gonna do is cut onion any way you want we're gonna go this way there you go very nice beautiful onion whoop there goes my finger and the mushroom same thing you can do whatever you want we're just gonna go with big, floppy, beautiful slices. You can make it small, especially if you have to hide it from people, but big pieces like this, kind of thickish. So I'm gonna continue chopping this. I'm gonna leave spinach how it is. You know, it's already pre-washed, as they say, you don't have to mess with it again. So I'm gonna meet you at the stove when we're gonna start making the sauce in about a few seconds. So we got our mushrooms and our onions chopped and we have our olive oil pretty nice and hot. We are a bit and medium high. We're gonna drop our onions, here's them sizzle, give them just a little bit, to get a little bit to the jump start. They're getting the color in right away. And check it out. So check, be careful, don't get skid by oil. 
I'm gonna add a little bit more oil because mushrooms are gonna absorb it. Okay, I put in the mushrooms in. These mushrooms are beautiful. The, the Portobello mushroom has a lot more meatier flavor than a, a regular white mushroom. And that's one of the reasons I did it, because especially for um, people who are vegetarian, who are you know, lacking. Actually, they're not liking anything, but maybe some of them missing something about the meat. Um, there's the Portobello mushroom for you. It has this lovely texture when it's cooked and an amazing flavor. I'm gonna let it sit for about a minute, we're gonna come back to you. So about a minute have passed and the mushrooms are giving out some juice. I don't know if you can see the juice. Okay. So now we're gonna grab about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of flour and drop it in here. Just give it a little moment. Let it think about life. Everything thickened. Next step. All the recipes you see online usually tell you to use like half and half and cream and, and we're using 2% milk. There's nothing wrong with 2% milk. We're going to be about at 2 cups here. Maybe even a little more. Uh, we'll see. So now I'm going to leave it be for about four to five minutes to let it come to boil. It is at medium high and I'm going to stir it and I'm going to come back. And you know what? If it needs more liquid, maybe we'll, instead of milk, we'll use just some water because we don't want it to be too, too rich. Because we are trying to make a healthy-ish recipe. So, okay. Give me like four minutes. I'll come back. So after four minutes, I turned off the temperature, turned down the temperature to medium, and it's still kind of bubbly cooking. And we're going to, whoops, add some good seasoning to it. We're gonna do about a teaspoon and a half of salt. A little pepper. No more than a teaspoon, you know, I don't like too peppery. But we do need to add some good flavor to this. Some onion powder, even we have onion, about a half a teaspoon. Teaspoon to teaspoon and a half of garlic powder. You can also use garlic when you saute in your onion. And I am gonna add just a little bit of parsley. Just a pinch, not even a half a teaspoon, just to add a little green to this thing. Let it marry. The sauce is thickening. Also, we're gonna put. Whoops! Everything is really steep today in this house. Onion powder, the parmesan. This is about two to three tablespoons. We can put in more if you have fresh parmesan. Oh, that's gonna be delicious too. I'm gonna add, I have some water in here. I'm gonna add about a third of a cup because it's getting a little too thick. And my next step is spinach. Looks like spinach. And I think it says somewhere, yep. It's washed and ready to eat. So we don't need to do anything except I do check out all my leaves when I take them out in case you have a set bolted one. No set leaves in here. Everybody who needs to be wilted, we're gonna do it on our own. Okay. There we go. And we're just gonna stir it in so we start cooking. We don't take up all the space right away. You can chop it first, you can use frozen spinach, just I'd say defrost it first a little bit. So it's not adding a crazy amount of water to your sauce. Okay. This is not 
bad. Full bag. We only got two set leaves. All right. Okay, well, give me just a little bit. I need to clean this up. I need to bring the spaghetti squash back so we can add it to this deliciousness. And we're going to continue stirring it. I'll be right back. The sauce looks amazing. We are going to turn it off and we're going to set it aside so you can see what I'm doing here. So I have my gorgeous um, spaghetti squash. See how it's soft. See, boop. Okay. Flip it over. Whoop. That's it. Okay. So now we're just going to shred it. Now I'm going to bring, you see it? Now I'm going to bring this back. And just take this gorgeous thing and blop it in there. You know, spaghetti is going to go with the sauce. Okay, I'm going to continue spreading and blooping. And I will come back to you for the taste test. I'm going to do this one too, probably. Because we like those leftovers. A bit of egg. So we finished shredding our spaghetti squash and now we're just gonna gently mix it in with the sauce. Look at this deliciousness. So good. So, so good. So beautiful too. All right. little taste test. I'm going to move my plate a little closer. Say, see how beautiful this is? Probably fucking hot. Always forget that spaghetti squash doesn't spin it onto your fork as easily as actual spaghetti, but it's okay. I'm probably gonna put more parmesan on it when I eat it. it smells amazing. There it goes. Hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is so rich. So delicious. You can taste it yourself and see if you need more salt, more sugar, on oh, the sugar, more salt, more garlic, more cheese. I definitely want more cheese on it for sure. But this is delicious. The spinach has still a lot of freshness. The spaghetti squash has its lovely flavor and the mushrooms just have that richness. And the sauce is not too thick, not too thin. It's just perfect. This is really, really good. And this is, mine is the cheese is very, very healthy dish. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe for more delicious stuff that we always make. I'm Zhenya, this is Zhenya's Kitchen, and this is my take on Spaghetti Squash Florentine. Mm -hmm.